Okay, so it's 8 o'clock and I have it on channel 10. <laughs> I'm ready for Manifest and Law and Order and Stabler's new show. So let's see. You heard it ding, ding, ding. Here we go. I will be back during the commercial, I guess. Why are we in Cuba? Is that where they found the plane piece? I honestly forgot about the baby. <laughs> she said the kids had a tough year. They do when the whole pandemic happened in their world. I didn't see any masks yet, but maybe. So she turned that place into a clinic. I forgot what it was before. Because it was like a cover. Anyway. That was the biggest water cash I've ever seen somebody show. Like, oh, look at all this. <laughs> I would just stab him and take the money. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. But people might. Okay, they all saw that. <laughs> and the kid filmed it. Oh, okay, this is our first commercial. So far, it's nothing annoying. You know, I don't like Zeke, but it is what it is. Um, let me shut off the commercials. And he's, his Spanish seemed okay. I don't speak Spanish, but they didn't kick him or anything. I don't, know. I don't know why now in the callings it's all like bronzy or goldeny. Why change? I mean, why change things? Nothing else to say. I'll be back. I just feel like Zeke doesn't belong here. It's like he, they're talking to this girl's parents. It's like, you have nothing to do with this. Shut up. <laughs> you know, I'll explain why later on. He's just glowing in real knife now. Okay, so. Oh, come on, shut up. <laughs> okay, so. Lost, right? Love's Lost. Watch the first season. Fine. So great. Come back, second season. They start with the others, right? Fine. The others are the enemy. Fine, whatever. But once they get that Benry guy, they start focusing on him and he like becomes the favorite of the writers of the show. And they start focusing on him. Then later on, Juliet. And I, the whole time, I just wanted to get back to the original Crash people. I'm, this is what Manifest did. You had the people, and they are all supposed to be magical. And they do their manifests, and they have the callings. And then they get the stupid guy that drowned, Zeke. And they try to include him on it. For what purpose? Just to add another character? Why couldn't they have just said, oh, here's a passenger. Let's have her like him instead of her ex-boyfriend. Why have to, because it just sticks out like it doesn't make sense. It made sense it being part of the plane crash. Or not crash, the plane disappearing. But now to have, you always got to, he's always got to insert himself. Oh, yeah, I feel like that too. It's like, shut up, you have nothing to do with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I... Zeke's existence makes it stupid the way I see it. Otherwise, I really like this show and I just wish they would have let him die and went back to the plain people, you know? I don't know why they're keeping him. Maybe he's a nice man. Maybe somebody at the, you know, company is related to him or something. But it's just like, I'm just sick of him. I'm sick of him being there like this thing that makes the whole specialness of the plane of eight flat eight to eight not make any sense <sighs> there's too much Zeke what did um Martinez and and this chick not get along or something is that why they just decided to force this guy in there I don't understand Mm, looks like she's gonna use that ladder opener. She's probably got mail to open. <laughs> Why did the alarm go off? I'm confused. I still have to watch Godzilla vs. Kong. It's a shame that I'll watch it on small screen, but I'm not going to movies in a long time anyway, but I do want to watch it. I mean, it's got to be an alternate timeline, right? They died in another timeline, and the plane exploded in another timeline, right? Gotta be. 
somehow this bit slip through, right? I mean, the piece of the tail. So this girl was being held captive. I don't know. And her parents were jerks about it. Maybe they, they're the ones keeping her captive? Maybe? I don't know. So far, I'm thinking on this episode, it's too much running around after stuff. I guess they're going to just constantly be running after callings now. I would have, if it was me coming back with the first episode of the new season, I would have had things be calm and, you know, have a new thing come up or something. Not Let's run after another calling. You know, I would have just worked on the tail thing, you know, back on. She thinks she's possessed. I guess the parents think she's possessed too. I missed that part. I was reading something online. I should have been. Romans 8 to 8. Oh, that's, yeah, that's right. She got it from a Bible. I forgot. The calling thing. Wouldn't it be great if a shark ate Zeke? Can't anymore. I don't want him around. Rude and everything. So she wants to go with them. How's about her parents aren't going to let her? What is this cheese mo fine reunion? Are you kidding me? In slow motion? Yay, let's all hug. Oh, yay, let's fist bump Zeke. Oh my god. Why is, what is it with NBC? Everything has to be schmaltz till you want to puke. Come on. They're gonna, this is us, the whole world, and I already stopped watching that show like a million years ago. Uh, what? With the kid and the girl? Um, she's a little old for him. If her mother sends a blue rose, Last time we spoke was three months ago. we'll know what this is. Blue rose case. Okay, so her mom worked for the government and nobody help, is helping her. Oh no, her! I had a funny feeling her mother's... Her name is Catherine, her name is Catherine Fitz. What was her name again? The code name for her or whatever? The general? The... The colonel? So she, yeah, she was dead, right? I'm telling you, it's an alternate reality, alternate timeline, whatever. All right, I understand the concept of them being resurrected. How does a tail, piece of tail be resurrected if it was already in New York when it landed with them? It's the same matter. Because they came with the plane, so how could another piece of the plane be somewhere else? You're telling me there's dead bodies of them somewhere else? I don't get it. I don't get his line of thinking. Cal's got a bad feeling about this. Yep, there are dead bodies of them. I was right. Oh no. What? It woke up? What? What? No. Okay. What? Okay, that was actually good. Like I said, too much Zeke. I don't need them running after callings. It's not exciting to me. Watch people run up the stairs and, oh, let's open the door and there's a girl in here. You know, but everything that just happened in the last segment there, I liked it quite a bit. I think we're done. Mostly done. Cause I got to get ready for Law and Order. Oh, that was the guys who kidnapped Cal. Oh. Okay, there's shenanigans. I gotta stop this. I enjoyed that. We'll be back. Maybe next week. 
maybe never again, but I'm doing SVU now. Hang on. <laughs>